Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Tiffany and today I will be talking about the Snap Duo Trend side-by-side -side double stroller, specifically using it with a toddler and a newborn. The Snap Duo Trend retails for about $749, which is pretty expensive when you compare it to other side-by-side -side double strollers on the market right now but it has a lot of extra features that I really like and that's kind of what pushed me in the direction to finally go ahead and buy it. Things that I was specifically looking for was obviously a side-by-side -side that I could easily push through any doorway. A standard door is 32 inches wide. The width of the Snap Duo Trend is 29 and a half inches. Now let's compare that to something like the Upper Baby Vista, which is 25.7 inches wide. Since I have a two and a half year old and I was about to have a newborn, I wanted something that was compatible with a car seat and our car seat is the Nuna Pippa and thankfully the Valco Baby is. Um, and it also has the option to buy a bassinet, which was really important for us just in case we ended up wanting the baby to lay flat and not always travel with the car seat. I wanted something that had a snack tray, um, which this does, but stay tuned because that is something that I dislike about this product. I really wanted something that was compact um, and easy to fold. I am often by myself going to pick up my toddler from daycare and so something that I could easily fold and get into the car um, was something that I was looking for. I previously had the Uppa Baby Vista and I felt like it was such a mission to get that in and out of the car. Um, the Valco Baby weighs 24 pounds and has a one-handed fold. It also has a shoulder strap and carrying handles on the back of the seats, which makes it super easy to put inside the car. And lastly, I was looking for a stroller that had the option of a ride on board if I did want that down the line, and the Valco Baby does. Okay, so let's jump into it. Okay, so this is the Valco Baby Snap Duo Trend. No, it does not come this way. Um, I took the second seat off and the second bar off to make it compatible with the bassinet and car seat for now because I do have um, an older child that's two and a half and then I have a newborn or now she's three months old. So um, let me talk to you first about these seats. Um, I really love them. They have an amazing canopy um, that you can zip here. There's a zip closure to make it either there or you can pull it forward. I usually just have it completely open. Um, there is a peekaboo window, which is great. It is a little bit small, which is one of my complaints, but everything else weighs out that negative. So the belly bar right here has a little button. You clip it out. Um, it does not swivel. So that is something I don't like. If you've ever used something like the Uppa Baby Vista or the Cybex Gazelle, it does have a swivel arm. Thankfully, this does kind of swivel open and close, but it will not swivel to kind of turn down. Um, and then one thing to know, I do have the snack trays and I don't recommend buying the snack trays. I can link what I use now for a snack tray, which just kind of clips on here. Um, but the snack tray is one of those where you have to press the buttons on the two sides and pull it off. Um, it does not just open up like this. Um, so you kind of have to like pull it completely off and then put it back on, which is kind of annoying and I don't really like it. So I don't think it's worth the money. Um, as you can see, the footrest goes up really nicely, which my son really enjoys. Um, and it reclines pretty far back. One of my favorite features of this stroller is that there is a zipper compartment in here. I don't know if you can see the full magnitude of this zipper compartment, but it is amazing. You can store diapers in there, anything really. Um, on one of the sides, so the side that I have this kind of hole for our um, bassinet and or car seat, I store the adapters in here, which makes it really easy. Um, I do have a parent console on here that I really love. I can link that below. Um, it has zip compartments so when you close it, nothing falls out. And it has two um, cup holders on the sides. And I also have the clips here. Um, okay, now to show you how to use it with, with the bassinet. So we did go ahead and buy the Valco Baby bassinet. Um, 
I would say that I did get a good amount of use out of it, but not a ton. Um, we did take it to the beach once. It is nice for when you have a newborn and you don't want them to be in their car seat. Um, I will say that it is kind of thin, but that really didn't bother me. It was just kind of a shock, I guess, when I went from the Uppa Baby Vista um, bassinet, which is really large, to this bassinet, but it's, it's still really nice. The baby obviously still fits in it perfectly. Um, I didn't really have any issues putting her in and out. This, let's, let me see if I can sure. Um, you press this button and it goes completely back or forward, it's great. And then it has this cover right here. Um, to snap this on, it has little adapters for the bassinet, which I just kind of keep on the bassinet. I find that to be the easiest. Um, and it just clicks right into here it's in on the other side yep and then you'll just hear a clicking sound and it is in I had seen another YouTube video of someone who was saying that the bassinet was at an angle when she put it in I have never had this issue it fits in great for us um, one thing to note is that you can use this canopy while the bassinet is on you can't do it when your car seat is connected though um, so this has been really nice the peekaboo window kind of has a direct eye line to the baby. Um, and yeah, it really, I have no complaints about this bassinet setup at all. Um, to take it out, you just press these two buttons on the side and then you will just pull it right out. All right, and then now to show you how it is compatible with the car seat. So these are the adapters. I do, like I said, just keep them in this little pocket, which is wonderful. Um, usually I will pick up my son from daycare. My daughter's usually, usually, my daughter usually falls asleep in the car. So I will just take the car seat out of the car and pop it in here. This, um, the stroller usually stays at his daycare because my husband runs with him. Um, but when we get there, I usually pop her right in. Super easy. Oh, let's just make sure this side is on, yep. And as you can see, it just goes right in there perfectly. No complaints. It doesn't really bother this side. The only thing is that with this bar, then you kind of want to, um, do it this way instead of flipping it the other way, obviously, because you won't be able to. Just so that you know, also, this goes all the way up for the taller parents. I am 5'1", so if that gives you any reference. So let's take the car seat off. And then I'll take my adapters off. and zip that up. So now to show you guys how to close the stroller and how easy it is. Just so you guys know, it's very easy to lock and unlock the stroller right here. That's in the lock position. That is in the unlock position. Easy when you're barefoot, easy when you have sandals on. So to close the stroller, I put it in the lock position. Now there's a button right under here that you press with your thumb and then you wrap your hand around and press it. And I usually just put my foot on the bottom here to stabilize it and just bring it right over the front. And it's that easy. One of my favorite parts of it is that it has this strap. If you're traveling around with it, you could just easily pick it up with this strap. Um, it also has these handles. I don't know if you can see it. It also has these handles in the back of each seat, which obviously is missing right now because I don't have the second seat in, but I just kind of hold it from this pole and I can load it and unload it into the car pretty easily. As you can see, it stands on its own folded. And so this is pretty great because, you know, when I don't want to take up any space in our hallway, I'll just kind of put it to the side and I don't have to worry about it tipping over. And to unlock it, is pretty easy. I just want to turn this around to show you. It's kind of similar to a lot of other strollers. This just kind of clips right in. So you just press it, click it out, and then you can just pick it right up from the front 
and it opens right up. Thank you for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed it and that it was helpful. If it was, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button below. Um, if you have any questions, you can write them in the comment section. Any ideas for future videos, you can also put that in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Bye.